How to Draw Cartoons with John Mark. Today's lesson, we're going to do this cute little cartoon, Snowman. Before we get started, I'm going to share with you some quick little sketches that I did before doing the final version. Kind of get my thoughts out for a lesson. I've shared this from time to time on some of my videos, and I thought this would be a perfect time to share with you what I actually did. So here, you're going to see this first little cartoon snowman. You can see I had a hat on him, and I had the trees in the background, and I just pretty much laid out everything. But then when I got to thinking, I said, you know what? What if I changed the hat? to a pair of earmugs. So that's the other picture you can see right here. I sketched on another piece of paper. So when you're thinking about changing your cartoons or adding something, you don't always have to do it on the original paper. Feel free to experiment on another paper like I did. All right, so if you're ready to get started, let's begin today's lesson. As you can see, I'm going to be working with my traditional blue pencil first and then follow it with my mechanical pencil. And the lead, once again, is the standard 2B that I like in there. All right, so this sketch, as you can see, previous from the first sketch that I shared just moments ago, is going to be the same in a little ways, but I might be changing up some of the look and feel. So as you can see, I created the first part of the element of the snowman. I'm creating the foreground area. I got his head going in, and I'm going to sketch his eyes. And feel free to use your own imagination and change it up. Maybe you don't want to have a, a round snowman. You may even want to make a square head. Uh, change it any way you want to. All right, of course, you know, as you know, snowmen have little carrot noses. I'm going to add that. But I changed instead of having charcoal for his mouth, like little stones going across. I thought I'd just give him a little fun little cartoon smile. In that case, you can feel free to change that. And as you can see here, what I did with his uh, body, I didn't make it a full circle. I kind of made like it was just like squatted down. Kind of remember when we were kids growing up making snowmen. They weren't always perfectly round on the bottom. They start to melt or they couldn't hold up the, the other uh, snow on the top. So we had to change it up in the body and make it a little bit more like a half circle. So I'm just playing there. So here you can see where I changed up to the hat and just putting out these little fun little ear mugs right now. And just getting the other side there, a the little cheek. Let's get some eyebrows going on there. And I'm gonna make them a little furry. So you can feel free to make them, hey, they could be a pair of headsets, like he's listening to some music even, and having a, a boom box. Uh, anybody from the 1980s would know what a boom box is. <laughs> Gotta check it out. Anyway, so what I'm doing here is pretending his arms. So it's not physically arms, but you could if you wanted to. What I'm just doing here right now is just pretending like I took some branches off of a tree or that was in the woods and just like put it on there. And you can see how one's in the front, the one on the far left, and the one on the right is a little bit on the other side, just to try to get some more dimension. So here I'm just going to quickly just form the trees in the background. Very, very simple pine trees. And I'm going to feel in my mind if this was a snow, so you can't see by the drawing, but if there was a little snow on the end of the little branches, that's when later on you'll see when I'm working with the traditional pencil. And I'm just going to create those little loop-to-loops here in the middle to give that little shape of a, a pine tree. There you go, a little bit down here, another one down here, a little kind of spreading it around and randomly taking the shape. And of course, when you're thinking about putting trees in the background and around it, change them up. You don't have to have them perfectly straight. Feel free to angle them a little bit here and there and um, come close to the back, you know, so it's not like side by side hands, all like little marching um, uh, pine trees in that case. So you kind of see them tucked behind there a little bit. All right, there's a little bit of the hill over there to move it around a little bit more. Yeah, I like that a little bit better. Okay, I got this one over here just working on right now. Simple, the same shape. As you can see, I just have these little uh, branches. I work on the sides, little left, little on the right. Work all the way around. This is actually a little bit um, more detailed than the first uh, sketch I did that I showed in the very beginning of this video lesson. All that this one was, that again, is just to get my thoughts on, like, hmm, should I have trees? And I was thinking of other things, um, and I could have added that on there, but I said, you know, I'm just making it very easy and simple for right now. 
and I'm ch changing it up a little bit, adding some more pine trees, a little bit smaller and further in the background. I'm just going to give these little waves, kind of like the colorization of the snow. You might have like a cool blue, like an ice blue, and then you might kind of have like a nice hot spot for white that's right there. Let me get the little form for his top of his ear mugs on there a little bit better. That's looking good. The other other side, three dimensional. You know, that would have been a good idea to actually to turn it into some uh, headsets that he was listening to some music and uh, having an old fashioned boom box on this in the snow there. Yeah, I got to do that next time. All right. So now I think I'm ready to start with the, the traditional lead mechanical pencil and I can see how sharp that lead is which is great and that's a 0.9 lead that I'm using right now uh, again it's a little bit stronger um, when I use a 0.9 and a 2b because it's a little bit thicker the lead if I use a 0.5 with a 2b the lead can break really quickly with the pressure so it's something of a balancing act that you'll find out when you're working with mechanical pencils and the lead with your level of uh, sketching and how much you push down. So once again, that's the 0.9 is a little bit thicker than lead and the 0.5 is a little bit thinner. And I do use a 0.7 from time to time. But as of right now, there we go. I got the little, little fur on the side there. And let's get the little eyebrows on the top there nice and sharp cleaning that up that's looking good get the other side on that yep, yep yep that's looking good now let's just get a little square that off now here we go so when you can just see this is like a perspective this would be considered again two-point perspective box and those are lessons that i'm working on for you to share later on okay get that dimension a little bit on the side there you go and the other side let's shade that because that's the underneath part and just a little simple shade on that side. And let's little shade that as well. That's on the other side there as well. All right, let's get his eyeballs. All right. So this is like a typical, um, use your imagination eyes. You know, it's very, very simple. You could have uh, rocks there if you wanted to, or you could make more free-forming um, uh, eyes, however you want to use them. You can make a Cyclops snowman, just one eyeball. <laughs> Now, you could make a, a very creative one I like that if it's a monster snowman. All right. That's a little underneath his chin there. So I don't connect the lines all the way. And once again, you're going to see that overlapping action with the, the pencil line. So they don't always lead up there. They kind of give you that illusion. I'm just going to quickly shade his carrot nose in there. That little holes here and there. Okay, that's looking good. His body, a little overlapping there his belly so it's like shows that's coming towards you a little bit a little really wide on that side there and now the other part of the body all right so these would be just like if they were just like a a fun little button you know it could be made out of anything that you can use your imagination or they could really be buttons and we have done that when we were kids growing up our, our buttons in the 70s were really really big so we did have some spare ones but the snowman didn't it was kind of a little strange but we did get to use some imagination we used to put hats on there stick carrots in there as well and it's holding a broom uh it's kind of fun now as you can see here this is like the little twig stick there the little twig that's broken up here just randomly just make the shape go however you want to they don't have to look like a hand but they could have like fingers if you wanted to i just chose just to like the, the branches were just lying down and you just like stuck them in there all right a little bit on the side there a little thick branches you know what i'm going to add some leaves on this branch over here wait let me just see let me get this under here right here here we go ah that'd be kind of fun like some dried up leaves you can say and there we go and a little bit over here. let's get some more branches on those all right looking good just going to shade it in to indicate like it's a little darker brown or gray for the actual tree working on the the mounds in the front like it's been snowing all day getting ready to go sledding and there's a again that's just the highlight of that those little spots would be more white where the rest of the snow would be like more like sky blue 
and just some whimsical lines in there. I'm just trying to get in there on the side. So now let's begin with the, the pine trees in the back. Very simple. As you can see, I'm not spending a whole lot of time with them as well. Again, this is just a simple sketch. So when you're working on anything, I'm not saying that this is perfect because I might take it to two more levels before I get the final one. As you can see, remember, I took it to the first step before doing the video just to get my thoughts out. And I said, okay, I like it. And then I started the lesson and it totally has changed from that first one to where we are right now. And even the third one to finalizing it can still change. Now, here's something to think about. When you're doing this traditionally, you might want to bring it into the computer and do some uh, foreground and background. My suggestion would be separate the elements. So when you're working with this, what I mean is very simple. Work on the snowman in the foreground as one drawing. And then all the trees, not all of them uh, uh, as a group, but one by one, separate on a piece of paper. So when you bring them into a program like Photoshop, you can move them around. You can make them smaller, bigger, and move them around. So when you can see I have on a paper, I can't do that. But traditionally, that is a challenge. But now with the um, and the level of computers, you can easily manipulate the artwork, but make it easier, separate the the foreground, the midground, and the background, and then uh, even some of the elements, so you can move them around much easier when coloring. Some of my layers when I'm in Photoshop, I could have up to like 70 to 100 different layers when I'm working on some of these backgrounds. And that's for my friend fish series that I'm working on right now. All right, so here, now I'm gonna be just shading in the back of the tree. They're just shading in it back there to separate the distance again. And that's the cool thing again with the computer. Like that tree, the ones that are all in the distance, I might blur them out to get that distance. If you ever look at a camera and you have a telezoom lens and you're sh focused on the actual snowman, everything else gets blurry in the background. That's kind of cool. All right, so here we go with that little tree there. Just going to shade him in as well. Looking good. I like that. I like that. Okay, let's get to this other final and last tree. Getting closer to the finishing of this lesson. And what else could you add here? So when you see the snowman, you might want to add like maybe a birdie. Imagine if a bird was sitting on his little um, branch there. And the bird has a scarf and a little hat on too. And just singing on there. Or maybe you have like a little raccoon peeking around the corner, eating a cookie or holding a pine cone, you know, looking at up straight up at the uh, snowman. So that's the type of level that try to use your imagination. Always, always use your imagination. Feel free to um, have fun and experiment with the picture more. Here we go. A little bit more of the, the bottom there, a little bit here as well. Okay, this looking good. All right, so here now I'm just putting those lines where the separation of the tree of the curvature kind of gives some more shading on the far left and the right there's a little bit more lighting on there that's likewise over here that's looking good i like that all right looking good 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 yep yep uh, don't, now here when i'm just adding those little circles at the end that's the snow caps that are on the end of the little uh, pine tree branches so pretty much the whole tree might have like a um like a light green and then also boom a lot of white at those tips and i'm just going to quickly just put random clouds in the background so it's a blue day blue sky the clouds are just out there you know what else can you add hmm, let me see let me see let me just put it aside can we do anything more let me just shade in here a little bit okay that's looking good you know what you know what how about this i'm going to make a little round ornament one of those little uh, ones that you could, you could even make those trees in the back, Christmas trees and have lights and ornaments hanging on them. I'm just going to create one right now with a smiley little face and at the, I'm just hanging out there. There we go. Yeah, simple. And again, I didn't use the blue pencil prior. This is right now when I just said, you know what, let's change, just add something. Let's get a little shadow on the same side there really quick. All right, let's give him some eyebrows on top there, a little better eyes there. Looking good. I like that. As always, make sure you sign and date, share with your family and friends, and I hope you enjoy this lesson, and have a great day.